good evening so uh, the next um, video i would like to show you is about admiralty digital catalog digital catalog is basically used in ships where there is no planning session so my ship is not having a planning session we are using the digital catalog to order the charts so this is how the screen looks like i'll just keep it in the center so that it can be easily seen on the screen so there are options file catalog updation you can update it directly from uh, the disk and this will show you the status of the catalog so this is the current status all this has been updated to week 5 week 4 then comes load basket save basket load inventory load permit file save inventory import chart list i'll go to this uh, as we go along then comes the view is a basket dialog basket is basically like your online shopping whatever you had uh, shopped it will come in the basket ship registration dialog list of distributors and what all uh, options i will be able to get then comes route you can load a route then if you are making a route create a route then you can either clear it save it or edit it or you can put the whole route to basket that means you are not selecting any individual product the whole product get selected automatically then these are the options to adjust uh, how you will how this uh, catalog will look like the preferences then and in the preferences there will be an option for route buffer width this buffer width is basically the route mm, even if you draw a line this will be your cross track basically in layman term it will be the cross track or which uh, the other charts will also get selected and color and intensity you can apply uh, which all color you want then comes the help menu help is basically for about uh, detail catalog it will give you a general idea of how to use this then the cursor position if i keep the cursor the position will come up on this uh, top left corner of the screen the scale of uh, the chart i am using then if i want to i keep my cursor here i want to move it i can move it like this or i can drag the uh, sorry i will have to uh, press this scroll button the scroll uh, key on my mouse will have three options i can either zoom in zoom out or if i press and drag the chart moves so these three options are available on the uh, <coughs> scroll button of the mouse and the same options are available here zoom in zoom out move up and down then go to a harbor whichever harbor if you know which harbor you are going to which port you are going to you can directly go to that place then this is uh, if you are selecting a rectangle and uh, i keep like this all the products that i had kept i had selected will come up this is not coming up because i haven't selected anything down below i'll show you how it is then the basket dialog uh route to basket whatever options are been here it is coming up here then on the uh, left side of the screen i can move the world like this so my ship is basically trading somewhere in europe then the inventories this will display the inventory and the basket inventory you can upload all your permits in directly into uh, admiralty digital catalog and below you have a lot of buttons so first will be the contents of the basket next will be the inventory so if i upload an inventory to upload an inventory i will uh, this all happens in ships which is not having a a planning station so the service provider will give me the list of all my valid charts for every week so for that week whichever charts i get for example i'll show you how it looks like uh, 
this is how it looks like the list of all my charts which are valid comes up here so the only thing I need to do is I need to copy this text file and I have to import it so to load in load an inventory I can directly go uh, you can see there will be a root folder for this I can copy that file into this place and I'll just have to open it so my inventory gets selected and next comes the temporary preliminary notice to mariners the paper charts list then admiralty eraser charts admiralty vector charts sailing directions l trotting sailing directions admiralty tide tables total tides list of lights admiralty digital list of lights admiralty uh, list of radio <coughs> signals then ad adrs uh, digital radio signals volume 2 volume 1 3 4 5 volume 6 then comes a point um, suppose you are going to order a, a routing uh, chart so it doesn't come up in the screen what you have to do is you have to go to the other option and the list will come up suppose you wanted to order a routing chart for a routing uh, guide for Singapore so the routing guide will come up here you can see Mariners routing guide Malacca Strait 5525 so I will have to add it so I can either add it is one is inventory and one is a basket uh, this is the basket and this is the inventory I should add to the basket so that I can order it and uh, anything I add to the basket will come up in red if it is already in the inventory it will come up in yellow and if I am ordering something that was in the inventory then it will come as red letters in yellow background so let me go to a vector chart services in the vector chart services also there are six options when whenever you check a uh, permit and you see the chart number there will always be a chart number for example if i am i am checking a chart and the chart number states <coughs> For example, my chart number is coming up as uh, for. I'll just give you an example. If a chart, if my chart number comes up as I one four double zero three zero five, that means the one denotes my overview. Two is general. Three is coastal. Four is approach. Five is a harbor chart, and six will be berthing. This is basically how uh, ENB charts are uh, designated. Then comes so whichever you want to select, you just have to mm -hmm. you just have to click whichever you don't want. Suppose I'll zoom in here. If I am unselecting some charts some charts will not be you can see this chart maybe gb3 3 is 1 2 3 a coastal chart if you can see gb302283 where the mouse pointer is this chart will disappear as soon as i turn this coastal off you can see it has disappeared so when you plan a passage first thing i will show you how to make a route uh, let me clear the first route So if I need to make a route, I'll just have to add a create route. Then I will be taking waypoints. Now I am doing it uh, just for a reference. I'll just keep clicking to the point where I need and then I'll click the right click. Once I click right click, that route is uh, waypoints are already created. Now if I want to edit this waypoint. I can either go to edit route or I can just uh, just edit the route I'll uh, hover the mouse pointer on top and then I'll just click and drag so I can um, 
edit my waypoints so to insert a waypoint it is much easier for you to directly first create a rough route on your egg disk take out its waypoint and suppose i want to this waypoint is in a position of 13 38 degree 29.7 024 59.6 all these values i am reading out from the top left side of the uh, application i'll just show you where it is this area will give me the position so if i want to create edit a route i'll just have to click it and whichever point i need i'll just go to that lat long and i'll just click then again the next waypoint like this i can make else you can directly load uh, your ectis waypoints into this um, software but i prefer this one this is much easier for me then once you have created the route you have to just click anywhere on the screen right click apply changes so that route has been created now i need to find out all the publications and charts that i need to have so the easiest way is i will the first thing should always be my birthing charts i will always have my birthing charts available so the birthing charts let me edit it to a port now there is no birth here i'll edit this waypoint to the port so i'll be having birthing charts here you can see the birthing charts if i click it off it is gone so and to uh, make this route much more clear i just click it somewhere and apply changes that route has been made so the birthing chart are you 6 are you 6 means it is birthing it is the easiest formula 1 to 6 are there anything uh, of greater value will be uh, charts that are of a larger scale so to get the charts i'll just click the harbor i will just select these two charts first because i need the birthing charts on a priority basis then i can click the harbor charts so this chart will come up then i can use approach chart this chart will come up then the coastal chart then the next set of charts will come up then the general charts it will cover this area and uh, if i need to know which chart i need to select i just have to right click it and a dialog box opens up and if i just press highlight that chart is getting highlighted you can see the change in color this chart was selected so i'll just put it as add so that chart has been added again for this birthing chart birthing chart and this approach charts i just click uh, right click on that chart it comes up then highlight it this chart i need i'll just add it suppose i clicked it here and i highlighted it i can see that it is out outside of my course so i won't be needing that chart so i won't uh, select that chart so the next thing so for an example i am just selecting two three charts added that one added that one and added that one so you can see everything has been added to my uh, inventory now if i close this so this you have to do the for the whole uh, voyage now once you do that you only have to close this once you close it this route has been uh, the products has been gone into your basket you can either view directly from here or you can go to view basket dialog all your charts are there and in this chart this is just a charts so if i need uh asds so i will be using uh digital sailing directions enb24 is needed i'll just again have to right click it highlight it this has changed and add it you can see it will come up here the asds come up here 
so likewise you will have to select your all alrs all publications and anything other charts whichever you need you can add here this is how your bask dialog will come up and in this bask dialog you have options to see if you had selected the correct one or not so this button so i click this and if i click this button that gets highlighted so if i don't want this i can clear this you can see that product has been removed from my uh, basket as well as from the screen and remove the whole thing then if you have an inventory you can check uh, your inventory here i told you how to upload the inventory from uh, the permit file that will be provided by your service provider remember all this happens if you don't have a uh, planning station if there is a planning session you won't be getting all this you will be directly getting all your charts updates um, at on a one go basis so it's much easier this is a bit complicated but uh, you will have an idea how the exists and uh, your charts are working so i have closed the uh, basket now my requirement is to save the basket so i will save the basket it automatically goes to it should have been in this point but i had uh, clicked somewhere that's the reason this hadn't come up this route you should always remember i'll just name it as 111 and save it that means that file has been saved so even if i close uh, the basket dialog or even i want to upload it again i'll just have to open uh, basket dialog okay i am closing it options load basket so this basket if i double click it double click it it will automatically come up this is how you basically use your admin alt detail catalog and to order your charts you just have to copy that uh, file from your system into somewhere on your desktop or any place that you need so that you can copy it and send it to the company to get your charts so this is basically how your admin alt digital catalog works it is much user friendly it gets a uh, bit tough at the start but once you are familiar with it it is much easier and um, one more thing is it is basically anyone who had been familiar with paper publications this looks almost similar because if you are selecting your paper charts paper charts comes up here if it is vector charts vector charts come up here and when you are selecting a vector charts you should always remember to keep it in the enc mode other than the folio mode if you keep it in the folio mode nothing will come up so select the enc mode and select the charts that uh, you need then it will come up and your basket will always be displayed here so i believe that you got a good understanding of uh, digital catalog uh, thank you for watching this video i'll follow up with an update uh, video on updation of uh, digital catalog thank you one aspect about uh, the updation on admiralty digital catalog uh, i missed out was how to update the admiralty digital catalog so basically um, if you are having the internet connected and once you start the uh, digital catalog it automatically asks you if uh, you want to update you can update it either from the website from the folder or uh, later so i am closing this menu again the same menu will come up under file catalog online update of catalog once i press it this button comes up this screen comes up so th this is uh, week 5 and uh, date on my pc was week 4 so i'll just uh, press the start update and it will automatically update the whole catalog and um, once it is updated this will automatically run in the system and uh, final notification will come that uh, my catalog has been updated so this is how it happens i believe that you got a good good understanding of updation thank you